Mississippi Adventure, and I'm coming to you from Harrisburg Pike here in Lancaster, and we're gonna do the uh, Farmingdale Park Trail, I guess it's called. It's um, starting it from here, and then it's gonna lead us to Farmingdale Park as well as uh, Noel Dort Park as well. So come and join me on this nice, fine basically a walk the more than a hike but um you're welcome to come along and join me on the on the walk hike or whatever So this is a uh, basically a, an extension of Noel Dover basically um, but they named it Farmingdale Park because we're right near not too far from Farmingdale Road right it runs right off to the side of Route 30 here nearby we are just across from Longs Park so before all this was a uh, field and then the nice little creek there not sure what the name of this creek is but I'll find out unless it's an unnamed one but so as, as you can see it's a gorgeous day to be on a nice little walk hike well again you, as you can see it's macadam so, but it's not a road walk it's just a nice little uh, path bike running slash now hiking path and uh, as you can see there's a wall right beside me here because right next to us is the crossings uh, shopping center here um, this was opened up a few years ago I believe I'm trying to remember if it was pre I would say pre covid so if around there it was opened up so yeah so I believe this was pre covid I have a whole bunch of shops a Wegmans uh real cinema which is a pretty cool cinema um movie theater for you some of you um where if you order food um they'll bring it right to your seat so they'll they have these trays that um sit in the cup holders that's pretty neat and and the seats do recline and are heated or cooled i think also they can do even though it's air conditioned during the warm months but you can control that to the the heating and i think i don't i think it's just heating not cooling but anyway we're just gonna go on another little walk and adventure here another hike sort of a hike i guess but this is pretty neat uh, like i said this is all new this was at one time a, a farm if i remember correctly years and years ago i always remembered staring at it from um from uh, longs park or as i was driving out of it and uh always wondered oh you know what would happen with this land because it sat it sat pretty vacant 
uh, for a good while there, for a number of years. I don't think anybody was living on the property and I guess they made them an offer they couldn't refuse and they turned it into a part of a shopping center here. Yeah, so like I said, this is my first time coming out and checking out this trail. Uh, I think my buddy uh, Hiker Dude Dad already came and checked out this trail. So we'll see what it has to offer as well. Huh, okay. There's a stone home here. I don't remember ever that being here at all, unless this was part of the original. No, that looks newer. That definitely looks newer. The, st the stone home here at the end of the, oh, we're gonna walk by and on the path, shall we say. Now, I believe this, this path has a whole bunch of offshoots as well. Yeah, I think this is a newer, newer construction, but it's, but I'm going to show you here, right here. They have a holding pond of some sort. And I guess this is same thing for uh, rain runoff, as you can see the on the walls. So when it we get heavy rains, they pull down in here as well. Yeah, I remember there being a house on this property, but this you can tell this is brand new. Just made kind of to look older, but this is 3000. I'm not sure what what exactly this is. Oh, we have a map right here. So this is the uh, Little Conestoga Creek. So that's what that was. So it shows you that this is a watershed all the common fish and abundant fish, stocked game fish, rare fish that occasionally find their way into them. And it shows you the layout here. So we are, I think we are in the meadow and low marsh and high marsh. I think that's where we're at, right about right there along the trail as you can see there's a trail that walk, comes along it and then they have a riparian buffer and again i'm not sure what this building is but it plant sensitive plant tentative and obviously this is gonna be an informa uh, information board yeah that looks i don't know oh no it's old Never mind. It is original. So it was the original house that I've seen here for many years. So this is Johannes Schwar and Elizabeth Schwar. Yeah, built in 1799. Wow. And then there's a second one. So I can't see, I'm sorry, I'm trying to see it. It's in uh, German. But it says 17.99. So that one would be your English one and that will be your German one. That's neat, I didn't know this. I've seen this property, like I said, I knew this property was here because I always wondered what they were gonna do with it, but now it looks like it's the home of a of a plant plant intensive something like that it's called. Yeah, you can see they did that's the newer addition. So I'm not sure how far back it it finally cut out, but uh, yeah. Sorry for the angle on the trail here. I'm trying to hold my water bottle 
and still stay on the trail. Mapping the... Uh, so there was a little section that I missed. It looks like on the hike here. For some reason it stopped tracking there. When I was walking over by the... Uh, um, by the uh, see, so it's saying that it says we're in Farmingdale Park now, unless they've renamed Noel Dorward. But because these are the signs for Noel Dorward, there's the Woods Trail, and that's the Creek Trail that way. But, oh, okay, they're connected. Now, so we're just going to go out to Nova Dort. Just hope the camera battery holds up <laughs> so it looks like the uh, Farmingdale Park ends right here at this road across the road here and this is Farmingdale hence the name Farmingdale Park because it commences here and then we're gonna cross over and hit Noah no door while we're at it. And we're gonna head to the trailhead parking. I don't know if I'm gonna end up doing all of them, but I was going to try to do at least a big um, a big loop back to Harrisburg Pike and, uh, I believe this takes us pretty much a few blocks six, six seven blocks I think if you're going down the road this will leave us right there on Good Drive, right there. That's the uh, trailhead. And I think also besides hiker dude i'm not sure if i'm correct i believe uh the wandering woodsman was out here too but he was uh i don't know if it's where we were just crossing out it said baker i think he said baker park or something like that but i'm like wait a moment but this is saying No Dorot 
Memorial Park. Now I've done this trail oof, many a times. It's been a while though since, but the last time I did it, like I said, sort of. I wasn't too far away. Um, uh, when I was older at Spalding Conservancy, over there by the Baker campus uh, at FNM. Uh, it basically that that trail over there ends up right across the uh, right across the um, the train bridge. Uh, and I, I believe it's the little Conestoga Creek also goes through there. Wow. And despite us not having rain for the last couple of days, it's been... I'm surprised that as it's a trail is as mucky as it is right now there in that section. Of course, a lot of this stuff will just regrow back. There's a little bridge. These grasses, I guess. Almost looks like bamboo. Wonder if it is young bamboo or corn. Oh, what was it they said that looks like corn? But it, it isn't. It's, I forgot what they make out of it. They use it for to make brooms. I forgot what it is, but it's. A similar plant to the corn. Yeah, you even have the little curly leaves like a corn does, but it's not. I know the name of it, but I, if I find out, I'll let you know. So I'm just going to go to the parking lot here. So I hope you enjoyed this walk along with me here along the um, Farmingdale Park hike, I guess we call it, in Noel Dorwick. Um, if you like content like this, please consider like, comment, sharing, to, sharing and subscribing. And as always, Go create your own adventure and I'll see you on the next trail or in the next place. Bye.